All right, guys, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am Candace the Edgy Veg, and what do I usually say? <laughs> For those of you that don't know this fun fact about me, I used to run a raw food restaurant Back in the day, it wasn't my restaurant. I ran it for someone else. I used to think raw food was like the most amazing thing ever. And I've since then clearly <laughs> shifted away from that. But one thing that was always super intriguing to me was how to turn nuts and seeds into meats. So I thought today I would revisit a recipe I made like six years ago, which was walnut based taco meat. So today's episode of Hacked, I want to see if I can take nuts and seeds, specifically walnuts and sunflower seeds, and turn it into ground beef. Hacked is a series on my channel where I take internet hacks, really weird food tricks, test it out and see if it's worth it for you to try it at home. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. I make new delicious recipes every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. and I would hate it if you missed out. I would hate it if you missed out. I'd feel so bad for you because clearly this is something you don't wanna miss. We're turning nuts into meat. I'm sure that you've noticed that this is different. I'm not in my normal apartment. There's some stuff going down in my condo. So we are at Anthony's lovely place. Thank you, Anthony, for letting me come here and shoot and, you know, ruin your kitchen. And uh, we're gonna just, you know, work with what we got, which is great for you guys, because all the recipes will be delicious and simple because I'm not surrounded by my usual things. The base of this meat is super simple. It is just soaked walnuts and some sunflower seeds. I like to use a combination of both because walnuts are fairly expensive. So I like to cut the cost by also incorporating sunflower seeds because they're pretty cheap. Also the textures are a little bit different and I like one that's soaked and one that's not. For the spicing of this meat, I'm going to do it two different ways. One is more of like a general meat and kind of like beef flavor. And then the other one, I'm going to add some cayenne and some chili flavors to make it like a taco meat. It's all going to be made in a food processor, so super easy. Let's see if it works. Did you know that the fat from walnuts is really good for your brain? It's also a natural antidepressant. I'm not saying that you should go off your antidepressants and eat walnuts, but it is a natural mood elevator. We have our food processor. I should not be talking with my mouthful. So I have soaked a bunch of walnuts. The soaking just helps with the texture of the meat. I'm gonna put that in the food processor along with the sunflower seeds. And then we are just going to pulse that a couple times to break down the nuts and seeds. Okay, to our pulsed nuts and seeds, we are going to add some cumin, coriander, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, soy sauce or tamari, and olive oil. And we're going to pulse that again until it's well combined. I'm gonna get a spoon and just scrape down the sides and you can mix this. Just don't mix it to the point that you end up with a paste. You do want it to have a good texture. So just scrape down, taste it, see if you like the texture, keep pulsing or stop. Mmm, tasty already. I think you could use a little bit more oil. It's my, my traveling oil. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. You want it to be authentic after all and ground beef as well. It's oily. Pulse it a couple more times. And then that's the basis for just your basic ground walnut beef. I'm going to take out half and spice the other half with more like taco style seasonings. So I'm going to add some cayenne pepper and some chili powder. Kind of want to give it a quick taste. Mm. The thing about raw foods, especially something like this, this is pretty good. Tomorrow though, like the next day, when all the flavors have had a chance to marinate, it's gonna be so good. Okay, so I have half in a bowl here. So this is just the, the normal kind of plain taco beef. Sorry, not taco beef, ground beef. What I'm making now is seasoning this for tacos, nachos, that sort of thing. So I'm adding some chili powder and some cayenne pepper to give it that kind of like Tex-Mex flavor. It'll be a little bit spicy as well. I'm gonna pulse that again. So that's done. So I'm going to taste both of them on their own and I want to see how it 
stands out to being cooked. So we're gonna make some nachos. There's nothing better than nachos. It's like, I made this video mostly for me. <laughs> I did, I pretty much just made this video for me because I wanted nachos today. What's actually funny is how huge these chips are compared to this tiny <laughs> little thing that I brought. Okay, so I'm just building like your basic nacho setup. I have some tortilla chips. I like to do two layers when it comes to nachos. So this is the first layer. I'm going to add some refried beans, just like little dollops everywhere. Make sure you've washed your hands. I have. So I'm just adding dollops. You can use just normal beans if you want, like black beans or whatever. I just, I love me some refried beans. I like to kind of even, like evenly spread it out so that there's a little bit of each ingredient on each chip. So every bite is perfect. <laughs> Let's add some of this beef, this fake beef. Not fake, it's just plant-based. It's plant-based beef. I'm going to use both types, the nacho type and the normal type. The cheese that I have chosen today is from Emborg. It's French. Yes, I'm using French cheddar on my nachos because we're bougie around here. I haven't tried the cheddar style, but I've tried the pizza version of it on homemade vegan pizza. It was delicious. So I'm hoping that this is just as good. Some tomatoes, and then I'm going to repeat this with the next layer. All right, I've built the nachos, a double layer, because we really like to have a good, perfect bite of nacho every time. I'm going to throw these in the oven, and then we're gonna see how this walnut beef stands up to the test. All right, we have our nachos here. They're ready to go. I have some salsa, some guac. What I'm going to do is I'm going to taste each one of these on their own. So this one is the taco seasoning. It's a little bit spicier. It has like the typical like Mexican Tex-Mex style seasonings to it. I think it'll be really good the next day. And also I would add a little bit more oil, definitely. Mm. Again, same thing, super good. I would definitely add a little bit more oil, I think. I think it could be oilier, unless you're adding it to like a tomato sauce or something. That's really good, like it's really convincing. I mean, if you were to have this in like a tomato sauce or on nachos or in a taco with a bunch of other stuff, like I don't think you'd miss the beef that much. All right, let's try it cooked on top of nachos. Okay, it definitely dries out when it's cooked. I would, let me just grab one of these pieces that doesn't. The flavor's there, but it dries out a little bit when it's cooked. So I would definitely make sure that I've soaked the walnuts overnight. And then with the addition of a little bit more oil, I think it can hold up. And you do risk overcooking it. So you would have to watch it if you were doing something not like nachos like this, or you could always add them in after. I think if you were to put this into a sauce, it would be fine, but just on their own on top of something like this, it does dry it a little bit. It's still very good. It's just crunchier than um, normal ground beef. There you have it, ground beef made out of nuts and seeds. Honestly, I would do this over and over again. I think it's a really nice whole foods way of incorporating some faux meats into your diet. If you don't wanna go out and buy a lot of soy products, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more natural, a bit more salt of the earth, let me know if you guys would try this at home by leaving me a comment in the comment section below. Also let me know what hack you want me to test out next and I will take a stab at it so that you don't have to try it out for the first time at home yourself. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like these types of videos, give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.